Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Beat up Martin. Eat up Martha? Ugh. I don't know if I should trust this voice recognition technology. We had a question earlier from ECW asking if Windows speech recognition was any good. Well, I've tried just about every version of speech recognition technology that has been released ever since the dawn of speech recognition, at least for desktop machines, and I have yet to be impressed. Now, I realize it does take some amount of training uh, to get the full impact and full effect of uh, speech recognition, but I honestly don't have the time to train my computer to listen to me, uh, by and large, because I type quickly and I, uh, you know, still haven't developed carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, now, at that point, that I do have to worry about, you know, keeping my wrists and fingers and everything completely from, you know, <clears throat> being diminished to the point where I can't use them anymore. Uh, then at, at that point I would probably investigate and spend a lot more time with uh, speech recognition. Now, as far as the speech recognition technology and software that's built into Windows Vista, it's, it's really not that bad. I mean, considering that if you already have Windows Vista, it's there, at least I think it's there, maybe it's one of those utilities that only comes with the ultimate uber mega power plus pro edition of Vista, uh, but uh, the one that I have, at least here on Vista Ultimate, Oh, it's in Home Basic too? Cool. Uh, it, it does a fair job. Um, as long as you have a quality microphone uh, attached to the computer, uh, some of them, I mean, you could do it wirelessly when I say attach to the computer, something that goes right into your microphone jack. Um, and as long as you speak clearly, uh, then the speech recognition should work okay, at least for more common words. Now, when you start throwing words like, if I were to say, you stream, it would probably translate it as either ice cream because it thought that that's what I was saying, or it would say something completely, you know, gibberishish. Gibberishish? I'm making up words now. Forget the speech technology. You, you just send me an idea, I'll make up the word for you. Um, but in that case, then you would basically correct it and, and say, well, when I say you stream, you type out this. Uh, and in my very, uh, very I guess rudimentary experimentation with the Vista speech recognition, I found it to actually be pretty good. Again, it does come with Windows, uh, but they did a pretty good job at making it work. I was quite pleasantly surprised. Um, not having to install any other software and having that power was kind of cool, but ultimately that's what it boils down to is just, oh, it's kind of cool, but is it practical? Uh, if you already use your fingers and hands to type and mouse, then it's nothing more than a uh, likely an annoyance for users. Not to say that it's going to be an annoyance for everybody. Everything that has to do with speech recognition right now, uh, you have to train it. You have to say, no, this is what I meant. Not, not that. No, delete. Delete back. And you'd get so frustrated if you're not in that mindset. It just, to me, uh, it's nothing more than something that's cute, as Ponzi would say. Oh, that's fun. That's interesting. That's cool. Um, but I just don't know about it being all that practical. If you are serious about getting into speech recognition uh, in terms of powering your computer, you know, instead of by mouse, uh, specifically by voice, I would recommend going out and getting something like Dragon Naturally Speaking, which is a full-fledged, powerful product um, that has had years and years of research and development go into it and is certainly a lot more... Um, capable of uh, giving you a full, deeper, rich experience with speech recognition than I think the Windows Vista platform does provide as far as speech recognition goes. Different technology goes into both, but the idea is still you know, fundamentally the same. As a matter of fact, I'm going to see if I can get everybody a discount on Dragon Naturally Speaking. If you do want to upgrade to that, uh, I do happen to know the vendors. Uh, I met them a few months ago at a conference I was invited to speak at. So maybe able to save you some money if you go that route. If you have Windows Vista, eh, try the baked-in technology. Is it any good? Sure, okay, I guess. Uh, don't buy Windows Vista because of it, but if you already have it, eh, play around with it. It's a good way to uh, waste an afternoon or two, or you know, maybe you can you know, pump out words by speaking clearly than you can by typing them out. Unfortunately, my words per minute is somewhere in between 120 and 130, and even though I speak quickly, speech recognition software never seems to understand that... I meant to say, beat up Martin. Beat up Martin. What's so hard to understand about beat up Martin? <gasps>
you have any tips or tricks as far as speech recognition software is concerned, or do you know of an amazing, amazing, I mean, just, just totally amazing speech recognition technology that we can run on our desktop, maybe for free, maybe we have to pay for it, we're interested in your recommendations. Leave a follow-up remark, comment, or whatnot. Or, of course, you can swing by the chat room, especially if you're using speech recognition technology to chat in the chat room. That would be kind of fun now, wouldn't it? Well, we look forward to seeing you at some point in the future at live.perillo.com.